Wherever you are, begin to talk to the Lord now. I've come before you. Begin to talk to the Lord wherever you are. Are you talking to God? Are you talking to God? I need us to be intentional, very intentional about this encounter. What are you looking for? What are you searching for, brother? Are you desperate? Are you desperate? Are you desperate? Are you desperate? Desperate, are you desperate? Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Hallelujah. Amen. I want to share something with us very quickly. I need your attention. Please, please, you can be seated. God bless you. We would yet pray, but before we continue in the enterprise of prayer, I want to share something with us. Something I know would bless us. A lot of us really don't know the purpose for ministry. A lot of us really don't know what the aim of ministry is. You interview the average young man, the average young woman who sends the movements of God upon their vessel and everything they think about is to go and do exploits for God. This is even a heart that is holy enough to attribute glory back to God. And when you begin to ask them questions that borders around specific manifestation, to what end is there need for another church? You already have more than two churches on the average street of, a, of, of the normal Christian dominated area. And it is still obvious that the rule the reign of rebellion still holds sway over the souls of men. We already have so many people week in, week out, spending a bulk of their time within the four walls of the church. And yet transformation is not factored into their nature. We already have people with all kinds of watchwords, with stickers and all kinds of things reflecting the things that they hope that will find expression in their life at the course of the next 365 days. But go and see them at the end of the year, whether that thing was in their life. No. And we continue to recycle the same method. One generation pass the baton to the next. We clap hands about things that the elders cry for. Oh, for a while now, these, these bodies are my only message. Many of us don't know what ministry is. And so it is important because I know that there are a lot of people 
that God has brought to sit here for just a moment because there is fire burning on your inside. There is a field Jesus has for you and like the foxes of Samson, he will unleash you in the fullness of time. But before you run into fields and set them on fire, make sure that it is a fire that was ignited by holy fingers. You don't, you don't know how happy heaven becomes when they make one minister one. Ah, the making of a minister. God is more interested in making a man than a church. Because at the end of the day, it is the man that makes the ministry. God will give many dealings, many dealings just to form one minister. When you, a minister comes out in his day of manifestation, you are the one that did not follow the story. You, he must have been purged by fire. His life will be full of all kinds of tribulation. It is these things that mold him. His certificate in the world of spirits are bettered by both sorrow, both trouble, both tribulation. He does not have a story all the time that God is faithful. Look for a minister who will show you scars in his body. There are many chapters of his life that men will never know. And he is never, never given the chance to disclose it. Only spirits look into the intimate parts of his members and they see all the scars. There are things that are not wrong, but Jesus will not let them go into it. You know, you, you, you wake up anytime you like. You enter a relationship anytime you like. No reference about... See, the matter, the matter of ordination requires... It requires a level of sanctification and by sanctification I'm speaking in the context of consecration your consecration will not be only unto God they will shift your consecration unto your choices in life they can bring consecration into time that is your use of time consecration will enter it you watch a movie and you lose your peace this, this kind is only for those that are in the school of the spirit that God wants to graduate them and hand over an assignment to them. Consecration can now enter your clothing the way you appear. No spirit will write this one in the pages of the Bible. It will be your customized dealing. Only you and God know that for you, others may, but you cannot. Consecration begins to touch other areas of your life that is not spelt in black and white in the holy book. And so it will be an error for you to carry that dealing and begin to teach it. Because this is a consecration that is molding you into becoming who you are born to be. Mind you, as a minister. Uh, today is because of those young crops I see in the realm of the spirit. It is because of them that this message is coming. You will need to maximize the raining season. You will need to store water because drought is coming. You know there are desert plants that have capacity to, to stay in arid regions and still thrive in the midst of dryness. You will live. Who is a minister? When Satan begins to ravage a territory, when Satan begins to prosper in a space, when demonic activity begins to go unchecked and the lives of people become a product, helplessly a product of the permutations of spirits in their space. When heaven becomes displeased about what is happening in that place, the solution to correct that abnormally becomes a man. They give one man admission into the school of the spirits. Hey, every minister has his mission field. You are not sent to everywhere. There is a particular place that your training prepared you for. This is why there is too much need for discernment and too much need for alignment. Because if you are not in alignment, you will miss the particular decisions that pertains to your manifestation. And if you don't have discernment, you will miss timings. Because in the time where you should move, you will continue to sit. Hey. So maybe in a territory like television where the normal story in all these years has been a place of wantonness. A place of unchecked wantonness where lust has gained expression to an extent 
by which the normal the normal direction of the average child is towards carnality it was it was in television before that when you come you will see a 14 15 year old girl she's already a mother then when we were on in, in in secondary school some of my friends would crack jokes with me and say you are from television and then we will say no we are from tell town everybody has something negative or another to say about his space how did it become like this mind you before any of these things started there, there were different revivals that have thrived in this space but along the path of that revival is also a collision with the forces that be in the land and somehow when they fight you for many years and they cannot prosper to pull you down they open a door of breakthrough for you and say why don't you go to a greener pasture <laughs> ah, it's not every warfare Satan wins by defeating you there are war he wins by blessing you he just opens a door and says just go now look at this place it's better than here what did I tell you about ministry every minister has a mission field go out of your field and you begin to die because you are not the man for this space there is another for that space you know everybody is running towards a prosperous city if only you know the matters of a minister. You will find out that when they were preparing you, when they were training you, they were training you with your ecosystem in mind. They were training you with the place of your manifestation in mind. The number of demons that reign in your space was what they used to give you your training. So that when you enter that place, you fit. You fit, you rhyme, you blend. That's your prayer life that looks too much. When you carry it and enter that place, that is the level of prayer that can contend with the forces that are domiciled in that space. So when you enter there, suddenly everything will make sense. Have you found anybody who is doing the work of the master and is complaining that there are all kinds of... It's one of these matters that is the challenge. It is either the matter of alignment or the matter of discernment. a minister Jesus will make your vessel he will make it a theater he will make your body to become a message to many people ah there are too many young people here that are coming from homes where nothing has ever worked nobody believed in them nobody think they will amount to anything their parents don't even know where they are they come they go out in the morning come back in the evening no supervision nobody cares whether you are alive or you that you, you you died and you have been going in life like that until the day god wants to arrest you what god begins to do is that the life of a minister goes beyond the four wall of the church in fact a bulk of a minister's life is beyond the stage i i sense in my spirit we should pray please one minute anywhere you are holy ghost just in case I graduated myself, admit me back to the school of the spirit. There is yet a great war to be fought. There is yet an assignment for our generation to bear. There is yet a need for witnesses to arise. And if by means of all kinds of wickedness we have been cut off, Holy Ghost, enlist me again. I refuse to be missing in the day of manifestation. I refuse to be a fake. I refuse to be a counterfeit. I refuse to be alive and yet not matter. I refuse to be wasted. My life must count for something. Who are these that come out of the wilderness like a pillar of smoke? Who are these that comes out of the wilderness like pillars of smoke? Holy Ghost, let's continue, let's continue. 
Hey. I will not run again. Let's continue. Where are you going with my life, Holy Ghost? Where are you going with my destiny? All what we go. Many of us, you have been in the school of the spirits. You have been in the school of the spirit and you have been complaining. You have been complaining because you did not know. You did not know that it is the way of a minister. They are trying to make a minister out of your life. Why did you complain? Why did you escape? Go back to the school of the spirits. Oh, for before they graduate you, you must be tested by fire. Are you praying? Amen. Amen. Listen. Listen. Listen if you can. Please be seated if you can. Now, don't you ever think you will become a channel to heal a sick if God has never taken you through the pain of that condition. I have shared with you the way of a deliverer. That every deliverer has a season. A, a, a particular period where he gets a taste of what he will deliver others from. Some of you, something happened. The Holy Ghost enlisted you. You knew something told you God will do wonders with your life. Then they thought that you too you are cooperating. So they brought you into the school of the spirit and immediately you began to rebel. You began to cry. You began to be emotional. And they say, but don't you know? Don't you know that there is no other way for the anointing? See, 
any other story you hear about the grace of God coming upon a man to use him as a conduit to communicate his will to a generation that is void of this particular criteria of sorrow, of suffering, and of long-term exposure to disadvantages, I tell you the truth is a lie. It's the school of the spirit. How, how, how would Jesus overcome and give us power to overcome sin? God will have to make him sin for us. How will Jesus overpower death? He will need to taste death. And it, this is the assignment, but he will need to become it before he overpowers it. I'm trying to wake some very emotional people up. Clean that tears. It, spirits are not moved by it. What they want to gain at the end of the day is bigger than your tears. So, Ah, he says, for the sake of the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, 